This video is brought to you by Card Kingdom. And while supplies last, if you mention Saffron Olive in your order notes, we'll hook you up with a free Saffron Olive sticker with any Card Kingdom order. Hello everyone, it's Seth, probably better known as Saffron Olive, and it's time for another Instant Deck Tech. So as you know, Thursday means it's Fishbowl Thursday here at Instant Deck Tech Land, and we have a really sweet modern list to check out today. This is Hakan Combo for Modern. Comes to us from Combo Carl. Perfect name for someone making a combo deck. So thank you to Combo Carl for sending in a super sweet deck. And a quick reminder, if you'd like your own deck considered for a future Fishbowl Thursday or the Fish Tank article series, leave me a link in the comments or you can email me, severinelevantmtggoldfish.com. So let's talk Hakan Combo for Modern. So first off, Hakan itself, one of the weirder cards, at least weirder creatures in Magic. So Hakan, it's a 3 mana 3 3. However, you can only cast it from your graveyard, so you can't just draw it and cast it from your hand, which requires a little building around. But, once we get Hakan on the battlefield, we can cast night cards from our graveyard, and then when it goes to the graveyard from play, we lose 2 life, whatever, that's not a big deal. So, Hakan, it's obviously really powerful. Being able to cast knights from our graveyard is the engine that drives our combo today, but we gotta build around it a bit, because we can't just cast it from our Hand. So we either need to find a way to cheat it into play or get it in our graveyard. So step one to comboing off with a con is getting a con in our graveyard. So for this, we have chart, of course. Just draw two, then discard a card unless we attacked. We just cast it pre-combat. Is it charm? Can be a counter spell or double looting. Draw two, discard two. Collective brutality can clear the way from removal and counter spells with the dress mode. And thanks to escalate, let us discard a card or kill a creature. So these are all ways that we can get a con into our graveyard. So then we can cast it. Also worth mentioning. Since Akan lets us cast knights from our graveyard, looting away some knights isn't actually the worst thing in the world in this deck, since we know he's going to back with Akan anyway. So, step one, we get Akan in the graveyard. Step two, for getting Akan on the battlefield, we have Aether Vial. So, if we tick Aether Vial up to three, we can cheat Hakan into play that way. Yes, we can't cast it from our hand, but that doesn't stop Aether Vial from putting it into play. So let's assume we get Hakan on the battlefield, either by getting in our graveyard or with Aether Vial. How does Hakan win us the game? And we actually have two different infinite combos. So first off, we have Skirk Prospector and Universal automation. And this is combo number one. Skirk Prospector, we can just sack a goblin to add a red mana. Universal Automation does nothing. It's just a 1-1 one, one changeling colorless for one mana. Uh, the trick is Universal Automation is both a knight and a goblin. So with Hakan, we can cast Universal Automation from our graveyard. Skirk Prospector can sacrifice a to add a mana. So if we can get Hakan in this combo assembled and throw the Zulaport Cutthroat into the mix, we just kill our opponent. Zulaport Cutthroat, whenever one of our creatures dies, we get two to drain for one, so we just sacrifice Universal Automation to Skirk Prospector to make a red mana that we can recast Universal Automation from our graveyard thanks to Akan using the red mana that we sack it again, trigger Zulipot card throw, cast it again thanks to Akan, sack, recast, sack, recast, drain, 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 win the game. So that's combo number one. Pretty straightforward using the knight slash goblin aspect of our universal automation. Number two is even more fun. Number two, we have Basil Sliver. So Basil Sliver, it's kind of like Super Skirk Prospector. Let's us sacrifice a sliver to add two black mana. We still have universal automation. We also have Changeling Outcast, which doesn't work with Skirk Prospector, but does work with Basil Sliver. So if we get a COD, Basil Sliver in either one of these shapeshifters, we have infinite mana. We can sacrifice the shapeshifter, which is a sliver, uh, to make two mana that we can re cast it thanks to the con for one mana, second for two mana, recast it for one, two, one, two, one, two, one. So this gives us infinite black mana. And now what do we do with infinite black mana? Well, obviously, if we have Zulaport Cutthroat, we can just win the game by draining our opponent. If we don't have Zulaport Cutthroat, we can tutor a win condition, either from our deck or from our sideboard with Mastermind's Acquisition. So, obviously, as we're doing this sacking loop, we can't just be boring and dull and get a Zulaport Cutthroat and win that way, but we have a much more fun plan with Mastermind's Acquisition, where we can snag our one copy of Bitter Ordeal from our sideboard. Bitter Ordeal, one of the weirdest cards, uh, it is a Gravestorm card. So, when we cast it, it gets copied for every permanent that went into the graveyard. Well, thanks to our infinite sacking replaying combo, a permanent's gonna go to a 
graveyard hundreds of times, potentially, as many times as we want, an infinite number of times. And then when Bitter Ordeal resolves, we get to search target player's library for a card and exile it. So if we can Gravestorm for eh, more than 60, we just exile our opponent's entire deck. Copy Bitter Ordeal a million times thanks to Gravestorm. After sacking and recasting one of our shapeshifters with Basal Silver Mana with Hakat Lettius recast it. So that's the spiciest way to win the game. And that's basically the core idea of the deck. Otherwise, we have Unsettled Mariner, just a shapeshifter, so we can cast it from our graveyard, we can sack it for mana, we can do all these shenanigans, but mostly to protect our team, making removal spells cost one more. Mana base wise, Cavern of Souls, actually oddly effective. If we put it on Knight, it works for all of our shapeshifters and Hakan. We can also set on like Goblin or Sliver in a pinch. Otherwise, a uh, kind of normal mana base of shock lands, fetch lands, and basic lands. As far as the sideboard, we already talked about Bitter Ordeal, and the important thing to remember here is thanks to Mastermind's acquisition, we could potentially snag any or all of these cards in game one. So we mostly have a ton of one ofs. Bitter Ordeal, Wind Condition, Leyland of the Void for Graveyard Hate, our one non one of, Surgical Extraction, Axioc, more Graveyard and Combo Hate, Pithing Needle Shut Down, Planeswalkers, Echoing Truth Bounces Anything, Unmoored Eagle to Snag Something from our opponent's hand, defense grid to fight through counters, Liliana, a little bit of everything, good against control attacking our opponent's hand, good against creature decks getting our opponent to sacrifice, Bane Fire if we need another way to win, we can just make an infinite amount of mana, get an uncounterable Bane Fire and kill our opponent that way, Pact of Negation for protection, Alpine Moon for things like Field of the Dead, Valakut, Tron Lands, Cole against Command, just kind of all purpose value, and that is the ridiculousness of a COD combo, potentially able to win the game as early as as turn three, I think we can go off with this deck if everything comes together perfectly. So thanks again to Cabo Carl for sending in a super sweet deck. And once again, if you'd like your own deck considered for a future Fishbowl Thursday, leave me that link in the comments or you can email me, saffronoliveftggoldfish.com. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed it and I will talk to you soon. Thanks for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, help us out by clicking that like button down below. And to keep up on all the latest and greatest, click that subscribe button. And don't forget to hit that bell icon to get alerts whenever we have new videos. And if you want to, check out some of our other sweet videos here and here.